Hey YouTube, have you ever needed to bend a little bit of pipe and you needed to have it neatly done without squashing it? Well that happened to me the other day. Let me show you one way that you can do this job without a pipe bender and have it come out perfect. Uh, this is a piece of pipe I've got to replace the steering arm on the tractor because the steering arm on the tractor goes through where the attachment for the front end loader sits. So I have to make a steering arm with a bit of a different bend in it. And this is the material for the steering arm. I don't have a pipe bender. Now, I could make one, but I've had to make so many things just to do the job that I've decided that I'll try and make do without one for the moment. I do intend to make a pipe bender because they do come in handy, but not just yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld this little piece of metal over one end of this, seal it up tight. Then I'm gonna pack this with sand and weld another piece of metal over the other end. Now, I'm not going to weld that so that it's airtight because I'm going to heat the pipe up. It'll be air trapped in the sand. There may be moisture in it. I don't want it to explode on me, so I'm going to leave some of that so that any excess build-up of pressure can escape. And then I'm going to heat this up and just try bending it around a former. With the sand in it, it shouldn't deform the pipe and I should get a reasonable bend. I don't have to do any massive great bends, just sort of 30 degree bend or something about that order. So I think this will work. Uh, I think it's worth a try rather than going and actually building a pipe bender just to do those couple of little bends. As I say, I do want a pipe bender, but not just yet. Let's see about getting this bit welded on here. Right, I'll go around that and give it a good weld on there. Maybe with just a few more amps, another five amps or so. Yeah, five amps helps. And a look. So I'm going to get that packed in with sand and a light weld on the other end. So that the gas can escape and that should be ready to heat up and bend. I've got this pretty much full of sand now. Give him a bit of a hit. A ramrod, make sure he's nice and packed in there. You're not going to get any more packed than that, really. Do up the last little gap. There you go, pack down level. I just got to find some way of capping that now. Probably just weld another piece on top of it. Yeah, and I'll just put three tacks on that. Let any pressure out of it, that should be good. Getting the initial tack on this is going to be the trickiest part. And I can't tip him upside down or the sand will fall out unless I manage to hold the piece of metal perfectly in place. And if I slip, all the sand will fall out. So not something I want to try, given that I just spent the last five or ten minutes putting all that sand in there. So I'm going to try and hold it there and just get a tack on it. Well, that was warm. I should put my heavier gloves on, but never mind, she's tacked. I can now turn it up and put the other tacks on. There we go. Still got room for any pressure to escape. That should be good. Just want the doctor order. Well, long last that forward just going. Getting good heat out of that now. Still got a cure of the cement, of course. I'm going to try the first bend. Don't know whether what I have in mind doing is going to work because I haven't got a lot of leverage on it. I'm hoping that I'll be strong enough or heavy enough to put my weight behind it. Got my heaviest gloves ready for the job anyway. I need to get this red hot. That is really, really hot in there. I need to make myself some longer pokers in order to manipulate this. Okay, it's getting red hot now. Take my guide wire over. See if he's hot enough to bend any. Oh, good. Beauteous. Okay, next one. That worked well. No deformation in it at all. Get the heat up where we need it. I don't get take this actually burning, it's just a hard start. I might throw a bit more of it on. Just to get the heat in the centre there, around the pipe. 
I was just going to follow this up and cure the cement, but the cement's been sitting there for over a week now, curing by itself. Oh, it's still getting a bit of moisture out of it, though. You saw that there. We're getting the heat into it. And I'll just set up some fire scripts because I think that other end near the bend that I've already done is going to be too hot to hang on to. Yeah, that's it. Bending now. Yes, that's pretty much him. Oh, water dripping out of the end of the pipe. I thought that sand was a bit damp. And just a while I did leave base for pressure relief. Now, how am I going to bend this last bit? Unless the old man used it when he got it to his place. Last time it was used would have been back at my grandfather's place. If that's the same cake that was in it all that time, and it looks as though it might have been, that cake would have to be 40 years old. Still burning, got looks so it just needed a lot of starting. I couldn't start it. Probably needed to build kindling on it to start that too. But anyway, this is all going well. Got some steam coming out of this here. This cement is getting a good cure. I thought it might have been a bit better cured than uh, it is, given that it's been over a week since I poured it, but obviously not. I should have probably taken the time to do a slow cure on it because I've got a crack there, there, another one over there. Only little ones. Oh no, another one there. So yeah, it is putting a bit of stress on it. At first I was going to cut the pipe and just weld it together in the shape I needed. Then when I decided I'd fix the forge up, I thought I'll wait until I'd done that. But I can't carry on with the front end loader on tractor until I get this done. There you have it, this is the next job to do. Oh yeah, that'll be good. Excellent. Because there's only one of me, I can't move the camera around while I'm working. I've got to set it up where I think it's going to do the most good and then go and do the job. So consequently, the camera's in the wrong place. We do actually see me bending this. So this is a new steering arm for the tractor. And what I did was most of the bends work well around the radius of this drum. So I hit up the center of the bend and just with heavy gloves on, Mend it by hand, just around the radius like that. And then this one I did on a much smaller radius. I put that in, wedged this in underneath a piece, put that in there, and then levered it up on that to do the bend. Did quite a good job of it. That's the end result of my forge bending of a pipe. Now, it was galvanised piece of pipe, and you can see all the galvanised come off in the heat, but it's a perfect bend. There's been no squashing of the pipe, came out just beautifully. It's going to sit about like that and replace the existing steering arm with one that can reach past the front end loader. That was quite easy, came out beautifully and really happy with the way the forge performed. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope if you didn't know about this technique, I've managed to impart a little bit of knowledge. And if you did know about it and can see some way that I could have improved my technique, please leave a comment. If you follow the link to my website, you'll find information on the forge and many other projects. Don't forget to click like and subscribe for more. Until next time.